We're here with Jacob Chavez. Uh, just saw uh, one of his one of his fighters take a tough loss, and the other one take a hard win. How do you feel about their performance? Well, I mean, he came in prepared. Uh, both my guys, Tyler and Nick, trained hard all the time in the gym. Unfortunately, I thought uh, Tyler won in a close fight against a very very tough opponent. Uh, unfortunately, he lost a majority decision, but we're hoping to get a rematch with this kid August 29th. Um, so we'll see if that happens. And as far as Derek goes. He hurt his hand in the, his, in the first round. He was going against a very, very durable opponent. People need to remember the guy he fought just came off of fighting Matt, Matt V. Korobov, who's an Olympian, and he took him to the distance. Derek had him hurt in the first round, but after the hand injury, he just he had to get to boxing, and he had to be smart out there to win the fight. Carlos De Leon Jr., another fighter you trained, had, a, had an unfortunate show, showtime fight here recently. How's he, how's he recovering from that loss? Good, good. He's, you know, that he... Everyone, nobody likes losing, and yeah, actually, man, you know, we can't win them all, but uh, he's back in the gym training yeah, hard and uh, ready to go again. Now you're also training BJ Flores. BJ Flores is coming up for a fight on the Roy Jones undercard. How's he uh, preparing? Um, well, BJ and I have been in the gym for, you know, a year and a half now. We've gotten through a few tough fights. Uh, we've got another one coming up against Alfredo Escalera on August 15th, co-main event to uh, Jones and Lacey. And uh, he's a world-class athlete. He's ranked number three in the world, and he's undefeated, and he's ready to go in and do what he always does, and that's win. That was the next question for me. He is closing in on a title fight. When do you think he's going to be ready for a title fight? Uh, he's ready now. I mean, there's a lot of things, a lot of politics involved. A lot, of, you know, a lot of the title holders right now, they don't want to fight BJ. They're afraid to fight BJ. They think he's dangerous. They try to steer away. There's a lot of uh, less guys that are as tough as BJ in the cruiserweight division, so they have a tendency to overlook them because they want to get, you know, to those guys. Adam X fighting Bobby Gunn. I mean, and, and it's just it's unfortunate that uh, you know BJ hasn't gotten a title shot yet, but he's ready now. He's got a tough fight coming up. We're gonna, you know, concern ourselves with that. And and then uh, we'll be back at our search for the title. What's up, is VJ willing to go to Europe to fight for the uh, world title? I know it's been a little bit with uh, Enzo Mac camp mm. uh, with their last minute offer and then things fell out with Adam Mac. Um, is he willing to go to Europe for, for that title fight? Uh, yeah, he'll go anywhere. And, uh, you know, Mac Rinelli did offer him a fight in four days' notice. Adam Mac offered him a world title shot for basically nothing in his hometown. So people need to understand that that wasn't a well-advised fight for BJ to take in the circumstances that they that main events had offered. Um, uh, we go to Europe. We'll go to anywhere. We'll go anywhere in the world and fight. That if the deal is right and everybody's, you know, looking after BJ and he's covered on his end as well, we don't care where we fight. Now, Jacob Chavez, former fighter, now you're a trainer. Uh, you're also getting into the promotions. Uh, where do you want to Where do you want to go in in the fight game now? You know, Tyler, BJ, Derek. Um, I got a couple heavy. I got Matt Hicks now, and I got a Walter Wade, Abdon Lozano. Five guys that are really high quality. I need to focus on them. You know, that takes up a lot of my time. I've had three shows that I've promoted in Vegas, which went really well. My last show was a sellout. I'm hoping to do another one in August. So I mean, I just want to give back to the community, help the fighters out as much as I can. But first and foremost, my my training is a uh, priority. Is there anything you'd like to say in closing? Yeah, I just want to thank uh, thank you guys at uh, Fight Hype. Thank Ben, you, Sweet Chuck. Good luck on your fight next week. I hope you kick some butt. And I uh, really appreciate you guys giving us the time.